Luxuriously is crazy. I'm saying. You said getting this so luxuriously is crazy. Man. I'm gonna run the YouTube tape, man. This Rick Ross shit is nuts. When I heard this shit yesterday, I was like... Speaking your records when we speaking directly. That's what I'm saying. That was the only thing I was disappointed about Drake. That's like, why y'all couldn't believe if it was really him no, or not. I was like, I got that. I could tell it's him. Oh, I knew it because I knew it had to be written from Drake the way he came at it. But I understand. I know. I he shouldn't have leaked it. He should have came direct. That's uh, like, keep it gangster. Someone leaked it. Like, Rick Ross said a lot of gangster shit. He said, he said, check me. He Damn. said, when you, baby, you also said, when you see me, uh, check me if it's some real gangster shit. That's the only reason why I can't give it to Drake because he, he did it too sassy. You gonna leak your record and not claim it? Um, no, he like, he ended up um they ended up they ended up validating it. I say Drake's record was the hardest say. I heard. Drake's record was the hardest I heard so far. Rick Ross is number say. two. Rick Ross right behind him. They validated it. We know it's real now. Who's they? We all know it's real well, now. Who's they validated it? Babe, you stand on the my new point. Which who's record they? was harder? Which guess, record was harder? Posted, was Rick Ross or Drake's Drake, record harder? I like Rick Ross. You like, and, and that's it. You, like Rick, Rick Ross, Ross was harder to you? I fuck with Drake. I respect I what everybody's saying. The, I enjoy Drake's record too. I really like Drake's record. I really do. I remember I told you, like, I didn't want to get excited about it because I, I wasn't sure. Like, he sampled this, Drake talking to him. Why is this nigga not claiming his record? Cause I like the record. Like, what the fuck is up with this? Mm -hmm. And then Rick Ross is responding. This, this shit, like, yo, this shit is like, yo, you right? Niggas is speaking directly. Like, you you spoke and, to niggas and, in in your song and, directly, and, but mm -hmm. you didn't directly like shoot this shit at them. And what I was trying I was to say, like, like Drake made fun of him. Like, this nigga almost fifty, but he was old enough to really pull back into that old school hip hop essence bag. Get on that boom bap channel, that ghost of Biggie shit, and just <laughs> violate niggas he was able to dig in a bag where that's the golden era of hip hop he was alive for growing up to feel it so we of course he can dig in that bag you listen to this shit you don't hear who shot you separate your week from your you can't hear and it I told you, I you can't hear the biggie in it that's why i said so, big he so, even shouted out biggie he's crazy. in a certain it's bag hip-hop is, like is beautiful today because me as somebody who did not grow up on biggie so you just hearing it fresh so like, i'm just here and i'm like Yo. Well, I did. I'm, 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 I I'm, really I'm, like I'm young as shit. Me, but I did so much research. I know me, this is like biggie. My, uh, like an energy thing. This is Ross, but like whatever energy he channeled for me, like and and like what I like to listen to, mm -hmm. because it's so calm. He was so calm. It's it execute. Yo. He executed brilliantly. I would say Yo. I'm. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna give Ross no L in this. There's no L for Ross in this. He, he went crazy. He could have pulled some. And it was two hours and he dropped beat, it. Uh, song to really go toe to toe, but I feel like he really wanted mm -hmm. to talk to. Let me talk to you and paint the picture. Like you said, he's really good at imagery. Let me paint the picture Let elegantly about how I'm nicer than you in this old school style. You can't the get beat so with. So calm. I feel. I feel better. Mm, I could feel it the sweat trickling down like, your cheeks. It made you feel crazy. better. Thunder and shaking the concrete. Old school, new school, you need to learn, though. That's how I felt listening to that shit. Like, yo, but, um, yeah, he channeled the ghost of Biggie. Ray Ross, we didn't expect him to be the first one to come back, let alone before coming back, before Kendrick or Future or Metro or The Weeknd or uh, everybody dissed. He came back first, and then it was that good. But I must still say it's Drake had... Drake had the best diss to me. Drake had the best diss to me. Yeah, all respect to Ross, and that was crazy. I think Drake had the, the number one push-ups was crazy. Drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Nigga. It's a fun record. Drop and give me 50% of whatever you make. That was disrespectful. It's a, it's a fun Drop record. Drop and give top 50%. I feel like. I feel and like I, because I know, because I know because Kendrick's going to win in my so mind. Different. I think Kendrick's going to win. I feel like because We're gonna the see two though. records are see. so different. Like it's kind of a awesome, tie. To awesome me. spectator shit. It's a tie. So for you think Rick Ross and Drake's had a tie it's with a tie. records, but he wasn't even the main. He only got five, ten bar, five to six bars on Drake shit. Drake shit was directed uh, to a lot of niggas. Thirty percent to Kendrick, thirty percent to Metro and Future. We gonna give twenty percent to Rick Ross, and we gonna give 
Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of, then there's some it's more. There's a lot of That's niggas. Cool, we gonna give John Moran five percent. We gonna get J Cole five percent for that weak shit J Cole Ross, did. Ross heard. He heard whatever the fuck he heard. And he was like, all right, it's, uh, I'm out here. So he jumped out there. He out there, and I feel like yeah, Ross whatever he did, it put him right. Right there, no, he no. No, you like can't. Like all the niggas you didn't up. know if Ross was better than. Right. Now we know we didn't know if Rick Ross was better than all these niggas lyrically. I now we know. know he was now we know. Ross. Now you gotta have conversations about J Cole right. versus Rick Ross. Who's actually a better rapper? Ooh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I I never thought like that. Really I always good. thought J Cole was you better than Rick Ross. Really, really good, listen. Don't I don't know. Do I know? Now I don't know. Rick Ross was. I don't know anymore. Rick Ross made a record. He made I'm a pay record. Attention now. He wasn't just rapping. I'm the best. I'm the goat. He was actually putting out like songs. That's what I'm saying. I think J Cole is lyrically you better know. than Rick Ross, but I also don't think I gave Rick Ross a fair assessment Rick in that. Ross Throughout the years, I always gave just gave it to records. J Cole. Now I have to I give that a fair assessment. Dice, and take my time with that shit one. Shit like that. I've never heard of Ooh. dice pineapples from J Cole. J. Cole does not have a dice pineapple. What was the Rick Ross feature with The Weeknd? The In Vain one, I think, and the one he did with Kanye. I probably don't even uh, know uh, The records. one he did with Kanye, Devil in a New Dress. It's just classic it's, it's records. Classic. classic. 2024, right now. Versus, classic versus for Rick Ross. And will still feel the same nostalgia. So as, as far as the, fuck the big three, as far as the big five, we are, as far as top ten, where's Rick Ross going to be after this? That might, this shit might change after this. Let's just watch how this Yo, shit go. I guarantee you, fuck y'all because saying? of this record, watch, watch we see some shit about his old music, uh... Starting a trend. Yeah, we gonna like all that, go listen to. I'm about to go, go listen, to listen to some. some yup. I'm, I'm putting on Devil in a New Dress in a uh, second. And uh, the, the weekend one. Reference a Biggie song because of it. I'm telling you, the you Biggie know, songs. He so had cool. that Who Shot Your Energy. The shit that got <laughs> Tupac mad. Like, is this nigga subliminally talking about me? That shit that got Tupac mad. That's how. That's the like the energy feeling the track. Like, damn, he really was. He's, he's hitting notes that would piss Drake off. Like, if. If that's about me, I'm sick. Like, playing with me. All right, y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm signing out.